All right, we are back in Naples, Florida. How hot is it, Elias? It's pretty hot. It feels <laughs> like yeah, it's like about... a Honda or something. <laughs> what is it? The uh, what do they call that? You know, when they say you know it's 90 out, yeah, but, it, but feels it feels like, like 110. Yep, that's <laughs> kind of how it feels like right now. So here it's about 95 or 100. Yeah, and it feels like 110. Yeah. So we're out here. And we want to help you with your two-handed backhand, and I've got the man right here. The two-handed backhand down the line. So what do we have to think about, or what are the key points, Elias, that we want to focus on? Yeah, so I always like to start with the preparation. So when we see, when we see the ball coming, we want to really make sure we turn the shoulders, we bring the racket back, and we get ourselves in a good position to execute. Because if we don't prepare early enough, we're going to be most likely late on the shot, and then it's going to be very hard to execute efficiently. Efficiently. So, yeah, yeah. step one I like is the that early too, the preparation. Way you, the, yeah, the way you were setting up, it's similar almost to the one-hander, where, you know, you're trying to get that, that short, you're getting your chin over that front shoulder, kind of, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. Same on the two-handed, yeah. so you have the nice turn, you're turning the shoulder, like Tom was saying, your chin and your shoulder are almost touching, yeah. so you have a good position here, you're kind of tensing the body like a rubber band effect, and then when you're hitting, you want to make sure if you're going down the line, to give yourself a little bit of space, and to turn the body a little bit more, to hit them from the inside here, out. Yeah. And then you shift the weight towards the target you're, you're aiming for. Awesome. I love it. Same thing on the one-hander. You know, basically, um, when you first turn, you know, you're looking over that shoulder. And then I like that Elias mentioned the rubber band effect. You're pulling that racket back as you step into the ball. Pull it back and then just release it. And that inside-out position is so important to hitting the ball down the line. So let's do a, a demo of it. Let's do it. We'll see how it goes. Okay, let's take a look in slow motion. Now Elias is creating space with his footwork right here. Creating space. He doesn't want to get too close to the ball. Here you can see his right shoulder, his chin is right above that right shoulder. Okay, here he's reached the inside position. From here he'll swing out towards the ball. So this is the inside position. He's going to swing out away from his body. There, at the moment of contact, you can his left hand, the palm on his left hand, was directing the ball down the line. He's got a good finish there, up over the shoulder. Okay, in slow motion, watch as Elias creates space by backpedaling here so he can get that good inside-out swing. So he's bringing the hands right there to the inside position. From here, he'll swing out away from the body. And at the moment of contact, his left hand, the palm of his left hand, is facing right down the line. That's how you direct the shot. Good finish. Right on the line. All right, guys. So a big key thing in order to hit the two-handed backhand down the line well is to position yourself a little bit from the sides of your right-handed player. You want to get your body a little bit more to the right, 
to create some good space between you and the ball. And for that, you gotta work on your footwork. You create the space and then you work on shifting your weight down the line towards the direction of your target. And it's a great shot to use if you're in a backhand cross court rally to surprise your opponent and then go for the down the line hit. Okay, let's take a look at slow motion, creating space. I don't want to get too close to the ball. Now, as I turn, I'm going to have my chin right over that right shoulder right there. The racket now is in the inside position. I'm going to swing out away from my body. Okay, at the moment of contact, I want you to notice that the knuckles on my hitting hand are facing down the line. Also, notice my lead foot, my right foot, is pointing in the direction of the net post. That allows me to transfer my weight forward. Good finish. The arms go in different directions. Nice high finish. That's what you want. So there you have it, the inside out backhand, two hander and one hander. So Elias, great job. You hit some Thank great, you. great Thank shots you. You there. Thank you too, Tom. Great uh, hitting. Yeah, so the, the key is get to that inside position with the racket, swing out away from your body. That way you can direct the racket head right down the line. Or maybe I should say a little bit inside the line. You know, mm -hmm. because when the ball's coming from cross court, you know, the deflection of a cross-court shot might send it wide if you don't aim, you know, a couple of feet inside that. Yeah, definitely. Center. Give yourself yeah. some margin for, for error. error and then work on your footwork as well because in order to do so, we have to move our body a little bit more yeah. to the right. So work on the footwork and the early preparation so you can execute well. Yeah. Fantastic. All right. He's a, he's a phenomenal pro, I'll tell you, he's good. Thank he's you, good. you too, Tom. <laughs> All right, guys, take care, and uh, please, please give us a like, a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if it's your first time. Post any questions or comments below. I do my best to get back to you. Take care, guys. Adios.